I want to start off by just shouting some people out, first of all, because I think that it's so important to recognize accomplishments, recognize where we're at every single week. So I'm going to try to do this every single week because I want you guys to know how proud I am of you. So, um, okay, put, oh my goodness. I told you to watch a movie. Yeah, do that. Okay. So I want to first of all recognize Candace for hitting Emerald rank this week, which is super exciting. And she's in Success Club already. Um, and she has over 500 volume this week too, which is a pretty big thing. You guys, if you don't know much about volume, a good goal to have every single month is at least hitting 500 volume in your account. And that means your personal volume and that's along with your customer's volume. Um, so that's a big deal. Juliet, I'm shouting you out for having over 800 volume last week. So good for you. And then Larissa, you're over 500 at 548 and you have two success club points. So, boom, you guys are doing awesome. So I'm super proud of you. And you know, that's just what it takes. It's the consistency that I see you guys doing and it's paying off, you know, the, the more volume you have. And if you hit, when you hit Emerald rank, you get the team cycle bonuses that, that and that's why volume is so crucial because you want the more volume you have, the more team cycle bonuses you are going to generate and the more income will be going into your bank account, which let's just be honest, that's very rewarding when we see the fruit of all the labor that we are putting into our business. So, so that's really, really exciting. Um, the second thing I just wanted to ch chat really quickly about and really briefly is the new coach training format. I am changing our new coach training format only because I want to keep you guys a little more accountable. And I know a couple of you um, are newer coaches and you probably haven't gotten through the training and that's okay. So hold on. Yeah, honey. Okay. Give me like a, hum, a hot minute. And um, because this is just mom life going on right here. It's 6 p.m. here and that's it's hard. <laughs> Anyone have a musical selection that they would like to make a sing while we wait? Okay, thanks guys, sorry. Um, um, so a new coach training, I wanna just briefly talk about this. So starting this Monday, I have decided to run our new coach training through a message thread. I used to do this and then I stopped doing it and now I'm gonna bring it back because I really do think it's crucial for your own accountability to finishing the training and whoever signs up with you as a coach, as a business building coach, it's for them too. So don't think that when I run things, this is for you, this is for your coaches, this is for your team as well. Um, starting Monday, I'm gonna add all the new coaches into this message thread. I'm gonna be posting the daily lessons in the message thread so they're easy, they're accessible, easier. You know, because before I was just having, um, and if this is confusing you guys, I'm doing a whole call next week on onboarding new coaches and the process and how to make it smooth and the transition easy um, so your new coaches feel like they're plugged in um, efficiently and they're, they're ready to go. But I wanted to let you guys know this now because this is what I'm doing on Monday and I wanna make sure I communicate this with you guys. Um, like Jen, I know that you haven't finished the training which is totally cool. Um, Candice, I know that maybe you're halfway through or something like that. There, there we go. I didn't know how to mute it. I just finished it. So yeah, I'm done. Okay, you finished it. Okay, well, yeah. rock star, good job. Because um, <laughs> I know how it is. Like for me personally, um, okay, don't tell anybody, but when I joined Nicolette's team, I didn't do the new coach training that she had. <laughs> okay, 
don't tell anybody, but I just didn't because I didn't have accountability and I just started doing things on my own and figuring it out as I go, which it worked okay for me, but I highly recommend doing the training because it's put there for a reason and it's just laid out in such a way that you will learn more efficiently. So starting on Monday, that's what I'm doing. So whoever wants to be added into that message thread and maybe restart the training or kind of see how I'm running it, um, let me know, okay? So just let me know in the chat box or put it in our um, Empowered Alliance thread. Let me know if you wanna be added so I can get you added into there. Um, I have a few new coaches signing up this weekend, so they're gonna be in there. Um, so it should be a pretty good thread right off the bat. And then Candace, you can add, you'll add Ryan in there too. So I'll obviously just add, I'll add you because you're the leader, you need to be in there um, making sure that she's doing everything and stuff like that. So you're gonna automatically be added because you have a new business coach. And then I will just have, make sure you add her when you're added. We'll figure it out. Um, okay, you guys, so I wanna get into the content of this. And like I said, it's just simple stuff. Um, but I really do think it's very important to, to really think about your social media as not just um, a place where you share fitness videos and nutrition and stuff like that, but it's a place where you can actually let people get to know you in a deeper level. And I think, um, and this is something I've been going through the last few weeks, I've been feeling like a fitness coach posting robot. And I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like, oh, Jen is going to post her, that she did her workout today. Oh, Jen is going to share a little nutrition tip. Oh, Jen is going to invite to a challenge group. Oh, Jen is going to share a coaching opportunity. Like, that is a coach robot. You know what I mean? And I think people sometimes get tired of that. They're like, oh, she's just talking about what she's doing again. She's talking about beach body again. And I think as coaches, we get wrapped up in just focusing on what we're doing as coaches rather than, rather than sharing like our, our story more and our struggles and stuff like that. What? Okay. Just wait a second. Okay. it will come back on. Um, so that's why I wanted to, to talk about this because I really want you guys to really hone in on your social media and really think about what you're posting about constantly because sometimes it can get repetitive and sometimes it can get kind of like white noise. Like people are just going to scroll past you um, because they've seen it already or because they just know like, oh, well, what she, she's just going to invite me to her challenge group again or she's just going to, you know, we just don't want to post the same stuff. And I'm not talking about this because I'm accusing anybody of doing this. I'm talking about this because I got into that rut and it's easy to get into that rut. So I want to make sure I share with you guys some tips to help you um, think about before you write a post. My kids are driving me bonkers. So hold on. You can talk amongst yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I probably have a really good shot of, of my nose right now. We're trying to get fishing passes because we're going fishing tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, guys. Um, so anyways, I don't know really what I was saying, but I'm just going to share a few tips, you guys, and that's it. Um, some things to think about. And so if you walk away from what I say, just taking like two to three things out of it and really focusing on it, then we're winning here, okay? Because that's what these calls are all about, is just kind of finding like, okay, I need to start working on that. And then taking that little tidbit 
and really start implementing into your business and you'll find that um, it will really help because I've really been honing in on this and following my own tips and what I've learned from um, the other Star Diamonds and my engagement on my Facebook has increased like crazy. Um, so this is, you know, I kind of think about our social media as a radio station. Like we have, you know, DJs, you have commercials, you have music um, and stuff like that. And so when you go to write a post, I want you to think about, ask yourself four questions. These are four questions you're gonna ask yourself when you go to post on your social media. Are you inspiring? Are you selling? Are you educating? Or are you entertaining? Your post must be doing one of those four things. Now, if you go to your social media and you scroll down um, and there you see like four selling posts, that's not good, okay? You wanna mix it up constantly. And so you always ask yourself, like, what is, what is my intention today? Am I going to, is this post going to inspire somebody? Am I selling something, like inviting to a challenge group or something like that? I don't like to use the word sell, but like, let's be honest. we got to grow our business. Um, are you educating? Are you providing tips or whatever and, and providing education for people? And are you being entertaining? Are they going to come back for more? Are they going to look for your posts, you know? So I want you to think of your of what's outside of Beachbody because it's easy to, um, like I said, be a Beachbody robot. When you sign up as a coach, um, I'm guilty of this, you guys. I'm so obsessed with fitness. I'm so obsessed with Beachbody, and I love these programs so much that I'm so, like, that's my passion. And I tend to post a lot about my what I'm passionate about. But so we have to think about what else we're passionate about besides Beachbody. What else, what have we struggled with in our life to get us where we are today? What have we had victory over in our life to get us where we are today? People want to get to know you as a person, not necessarily thinking of you as um, Jenna, the Beachbody coach, who's just always going to post about fitness. That gets boring and that gets really, really monotonous. You want people to be looking for your posts and not being annoyed by seeing the same thing all the time. So ask yourself, what is your passion outside of Beachbody? Like, really think about that. For me personally, I love dance. I love to be crazy and dance. I love, you know, my passion is other women that struggle with PCOS. Um, my passion is, um, you know, skin. I have skin issues. So my passion is to like be relatable about stuff like that with other women. Um, you know, you just have to think about what you're passionate, maybe you're passionate for home decor or cooking or um, art or reading. I'm not passionate about any of those things. So I have to really dig deep about what I'm passionate about because I'm passionate about fitness. Like that's just who I am. Um, but it doesn't have to be some fancy schmancy passion. It just has to be something other than beach body. Um, and then always ask yourself, what can you do to entertain your following? What is something that kind of gets them interested? I was talking to a coach who was doing a call kind of like this. And what entertains her audience is her husband. He's freaking hilarious. He dresses up and dances all over the place. That's her entertainment for her audience. Um, so if you have a, a funny husband, maybe a rock star husband, I don't know. But that could be the entertainment that people look for on your social media. I'm just saying. Um, so ask yourself, what can you do to entertain your following? I'm trying to figure that out. I just posted a Musical.ly video on my fitness page just to test it out. And I got a lot of good responses about that. So I might just dance like a crazy person on my social media. And maybe that's the entertainment that people need in their life. I just don't know. Like, what do people want? So really think about that. And then think about what part of your life story is inspiring and relatable to your person, to your avatar, to your audience. What part of your life is inspiring and relatable? For me, um, you know, PCOS, I go back to dealing with PCOS. I like to talk about it. I like to be relatable. Um, women with PCOS struggle with being overweight. They struggle with infertility. They struggle with skin issues. They struggle with... Um, hormone imbalance and all that stuff. 
I, de I deal with all that stuff. So that's kind of my passion. That's how I can be relatable to other women. Maybe it's, you know, something like, um, you know, maybe it's an eating disorder. Maybe you can inspire other people that have eating disorders. I had an exercise bulimia disorder that I talk about constantly. Um, I, I have a binge eating disorder that I talk about constantly and how I've overcome that. A lot of people can relate to that and be inspired by your story. So hone in on what your life story is. Maybe you haven't really struggled at all, but somebody, you, everybody has something. Everybody has something that makes them who they are. So you really need to hone in on that. And I'm telling you, you got to share about it. You have to share about it. Not like don't share your, all your dirty secrets and all your like, like don't feel like you have to be like crazy sharing person. You know, keep the things hidden that are, you know, shouldn't be shared. But all I'm saying is let people get to know you better. Let people get to know you so they want to follow you and so you can inspire them to follow you. Um, and just, you know, you have to remember, like for me, just because I became a beach body coach doesn't mean that I lost who I am. I became a coach because I agree with the nutrition plan. Like that, that hasn't changed me. I've always agreed with clean eating and portion control versus some other crazy thing that hasn't changed my viewpoint, um, with helping people. Um, and you know, just remember, like I said, it just, <laughs> Jen, I'm sorry. Um, it gets boring when you have, you know, when in this business, if you're just constantly, if your passion is constantly beach body, it'll get boring. It'll get boring for you, but it also get boring for other people. Obviously this is our passion. This is our business, but you really have to think about what people want to look for. So how will you set yourself apart as a coach? Okay. There are over half a million beach body coaches in this world okay it, people can go anywhere and find a beach body coach why should they follow you why do, what makes you different as a beach body coach that inspires them how are you going to stand out how are you going to be the person that they come to and relate to so that would ask yourself that every single time you go to post what's going to make me stand out what's going to make me different What's not going to make you different is constantly posting about a challenge group or constantly sharing about, um, you know, lift four triple bear move. Like, like everybody knows that do something different. Like Juliet's really good at sharing her workouts, but she like adds music and she dances and she like does some fun stuff. That's what makes her different. She sings like that's what makes you different. I think you should get on your social media and just jam out. Like that, people will follow you. So think about what your thing is, you guys. I don't care what it is, but think about what it is. Really, really hone in on that. Like make a list of things you're passionate about. Make lists of your quirks and your, maybe you're a nerd. Maybe you are a bookworm and you're just awkward. Like run with that, okay? Run with that. Um, okay, so like I said, social media is kind of like a radio station, right? When there's too many commercials, what do we do? We switch the radio station and try to find a radio station that's playing music, right? Who wants to sit there and listen to commercials? This is my point on inviting to challenge groups too much. This is my point with inviting to the coaching opportunity too much. Posting about fitness too much. It's kind of like a commercial where you're just tired of hearing it, so you're just gonna skip it over. If people are constantly seeing that on your social media, guess what? They're just going to fly through and skip over. You want to intermix your commercials. And what I mean by that is your challenge group invite posts, you know, your call to actions, which are important two, maybe two times a week. Okay. People are going to read those if they're not posted all the time. And when they know you're going to be entertaining, inspiring, and educating, then they'll actually read your selling posts. So to keep that in mind, make sure there is a really good balance when you're posting on your social media. Um, okay, I had some couple other notes, but I hope this is just helping you guys. Um, and like, you know, like I said, if your content is good, like they won't care what you're posting about. If you word things amazing, and if you stand out, and if you share 
your story and your, you know, your family life, I just think it has to be really well balanced. And like I said at the beginning, I'm saying this because I wasn't, and I was noticing my following decrease. I was noticing my engagement on my posts lacking. And I was like, what am I doing wrong? And then I was scrolling my social media and being like, okay, if I was an outsider looking at my page, I would be just like, oh my God, she's obsessed with fitness all the time. And she's like, just inviting me all the time. And I do not want to follow her because she's just going to get me to join her challenge groups. Like that's what, I don't want to be like that. I want them to go to my social media. And first of all, they'll know that I'm a coach and they know that I love health and fitness because that is my passion. Even outside of Beachbody, that's always been my passion. So that's part of who I am. But I also want them to know, you know, that I, that I, I'm relatable. Like they can, they can look at a post and be like, Oh, I get her. I'm going to follow her. Oh, I get her. She would help me with lose weight. I want to sign up with her as my beach body coach. That's what I want to have happen. And you know, beach body coaches, you guys, this is a classy business. If you go to an Instagram account of a, of somebody and you're like, Oh my gosh, you know, she posts the most beautiful pictures she looks like she's into health and fitness. Ooh, she's like, she runs teams. Like if, she, if you don't see a single picture of a Shakeology cup, um, the single hashtag that says hashtag Beachbody, and you're like, oh my gosh, she needs to join my team, right? That's what I think. But then guess what? I watch their story and I see them drinking Energize and I'm like, dang it, they already are a Beachbody coach. But that's the type of, that's the type of um, draw that we want to have as coaches. We don't want to have that shake. Mommy. Oh, she's a beach body coach. And she's, yeah, they see shakeology right off the bat. Mommy. What? Can I, I'm a friend right there. You can go have yogurt or a popsicle. And a popsicle. Okay, copy one. Run away. Run. Okay. Um, I think that was pretty much all I had to say about that, you guys. My point of this is just set your apart from me. Set yourself apart from being average. Set yourself apart from being that other, that and just another beach body coach. What makes you different? What makes you Larissa? Like what, like what's going to draw people to your page and to your challenge groups and to you as a person? Don't be a posting robot. It's so easy to get into that. And, um, you know, just share what weighs heavy in your heart. You know, when I go to post, I don't ever plan out my posts. I literally sit down like, okay, I need to do a post today. And I'm like, okay, what? Is, has inspired me already today. What did I do today? What did my kids say to me today? I really just hone in on like the present, like what is happening. And then I create a post, you know, just thinking about what I'm thinking about. Kind of like my, my journal. Um, my social media is kind of like my journal. So um, I hope that helps a little bit, you guys. I hope you just kind of think about being versatile. Um, and really kind of just changing things up. And, um, I'm really going to try to post two to three times a day. I was only posting about one to two times a day, but I'm going to bump it up a little bit because I do want to get in people's newsfeed a little bit more. So think about that as well. Um, I know sometimes for you guys working full time, it's hard to just think about social media, um, and posting and stuff like that, but really just, if you create good content, that's all that matters. You know, that's all that matters. Create posts that grab people's attention. Lighten up your photos, crisp them up, make it scroll stopping. Um, and, you know, you're going to set yourself apart from all the other Beachbody coaches out there. So, and you're going to attract people that get you. We don't want to attract people that don't get you, you know, deep down inside of me, I think about who I want to be. And I think like, oh my gosh, my Instagram doesn't flow. The pictures don't match. I'm all over the place. Oh my gosh. I posted two selfies next to each other, which is like a big no, no in Instagram. And I'm just like, you know, I really want to be that, you know, mom that wears jeans and a cute purse and my nails are done and my hair is done and my makeup looks perfect all the time. And I take that cute little Instagram photo with my two kids just being so joyful and happy. But in reality, that's just not me. And I'm not going to attract, I'm going to attract people that are preppy and like that. And I'm not going to be able to relate to them because I'm being fake. And so I want to attract people that are 
Larissa, hashtag hot mom mess, hot mess moms that just don't know what they're doing in life. They're just trying to get through the day. They wear their sweaty workout clothes all day long. Their hair looks like a freaking mess. And they're, yeah, like, see, it's just like you want to portray the people who you want to attract. So think about that. When I am going and looking for uh, people on Instagram, my go-to is just like following the fancy Instagram beautiful people. And I'm just like, why am I doing this? They're not my people. They're the person that I'm like jealous of, but I know that I, I will never be. My Instagram is all over the place. My photos don't flow. My, I just don't have that. And that's okay. You have to be okay with being, maybe you're not a hot mess. You have, but you have to be okay with not being perfect or anything like that. And don't you dare compare yourself to anybody else or any other coach that's a freaking rock star and killing it. And you're over here like, I mean, I just don't know how to take a selfie, you know, like don't even care, you know, just do your best. So anyways, I hope this helps. Do you guys have anything to say or any questions? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, that's all I had to say then. So what I'm going to do is next week, I'm going to be talking, like I said, about onboarding. I have a revamped email that I'm sending to my new coaches. Um, if you want me to send that email to you, let me know so you can use it or recreate it. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, but let me know in, the, in our message thread. Let me know in our message thread if you want me to send that email. And also if you want me to add you to the new coach training on Monday. And that's it. Thanks for hopping on, you guys. I love you so much. Okay, have a good weekend. Thanks for taking time to hang out with me. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Don't go. Don't go. Can I just get a boomerang with you guys? Hold on, Capri. Oh, that's okay, honey. Okay, guys. Last boomerang. I know I, didn't, I said I wasn't going to keep this long. Okay, are you ready? Three, two... One. Perfect. <laughs> all right, you guys, that's all. I will talk to you later. Bye.